Hey guys, assalamu alaikum. It's Jenaji. Welcome back to my channel for another video. This time we are in the kitchen with mommy and she's making her curry fish. So like my previous video, this video was not any sort of particular order, in order, any particular structure or you know meant to be in any particular order. I actually just happened to go by her and she was cooking up a storm. So she made dad and rice, some pak joy and curry fish. And I just decided to grab her phone and my phone and just take whatever I could get and put it together for you guys. I know it's always nice when we see other people making their dishes and you know how would they go about it. Especially like the mummies and the grandmothers and all of that. So taking this video, hope you guys enjoy it. She already had her fish all sliced up thanks to the husband. He caught this fish, fish actually. Whenever he catches his fish, he brings it home, he cleans it, he slices it up, parcels it out. So you know, it's pretty much easy to use when you're ready to use it. Squeezing lime or using lime juice um, in fish to cut that freshness is so important. Yeah, he just cleaned it and packaged it out. Yeah. Yes. Real fish. Then she's going to season it up. Black pepper. Mm -hmm. And we're going to fry it first. Yeah, well, I don't fry it, fry it with um, flour and thing. So I'm going to fry it like that. Just to not have too much. Um, yeah. I'll just fry it without it. Yeah, but when you don't um, fry it, It'll fall apart. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, but I mean like I'll fry it but without the flour. So I could just like pan pan thing it like. Then in goes a homemade green seasoning. Gosh, that just smells so good. Use my hand. Yeah, Mix it all up. Like. Okay, yes. This one season already? Mm hmm I'll mix it with the fry. You'll put um like any flour, mm -hmm. any um curry and thing in it. Any what? Any, any flour? No. <laughs> We'll make some um carrot. Look what is that? Oh my gosh! Mm. Yeah, why does take all the fish out? Eh? I I just leave it because I, I see that when you um you I know how to how it cook. Why well, do I eat it? Eh? But no, I don't eat. I want fish. Don't let us eat any pork at all. So usually they coat it with some flour. I usually add some curry in it, but mommy doesn't add the curry. And you just basically you're going to fry it until it's nicely cooked through. So this is the first part of making curry fish. You fry the fish, and then the second step would be to make the curry sauce, which the fried fish then goes into. These days, plenty of you know, way back from. Uh -huh. Oh yes! Who is that? We got slightly distracted though. That was my reaction because my little baby nephew just arrived. So after being distracted for a few minutes, we were ready to continue with the second part of making curry fish. Was that say? Hi. Oh, 
with thyme just so in it. At this point, it's just about cooking up that curry paste. So the curry paste, some people use curry paste where they, like you saw mommy, she combined the, added some curry powder to water and the green seasoning. And you're just gonna let that cook properly for a good few minutes until most of that water is gone. Or you can do the curry, adding the curry powder to the oil, let that cook up a little bit and then add your water. Many people actually use the curry paste when they cook in uh, their curry dishes. So once that curry paste has been reduced and most of that water is gone, she's now going to actually add more water. So at this point, the curry powder should be cooked through properly. And now she's just going to add more water, which now would be your actual curry sauce that you're going to be adding your fried fish to. So she's going to just let this continue cooking just for a few minutes again until it thickens up. And once it's a nice and thick and it just to her liking in terms of the amount of sauce there, She's just going to be adding the fried fish pieces to the pot. So in Trinidad, we have so many different ways of making the exact same dish. And I say it in all of my videos. That's just one of those things about food that is just so enjoyable. Everybody has their own way of making their dish. So once she's added all her fried fish to the curry sauce, it's just about coating it with the uh, curry sauce that we have in the pot there. So when you're frying your fish, she does not fry it completely through because in this step, she usually lets it cook a little more when it's in the curry sauce. So you're going to fry the fish until it's like, you know, three quarter way cooked through. So when you add it in this step, it's not going to really fall apart. So now that she has her curry fish all fried up nicely, it's just to finish everything else, chunky the dal, and now it's just time to eat dark rice, pak choy, curry fish, mummy style. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, mommy making her version of curry fish, absolutely delicious. In my previous video with my grandmother, uh, I would have mentioned that my grandmother and mommy were two people who actually I learned so much from in terms of cooking and you know, they're fantastic cooks, their food always tastes so delicious. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, it was not meant to be in any formal or proper structure, it was just a last minute a decision to grab the camera and tape it for you guys i know you guys enjoy seeing these uh, types of videos so i really do hope that you enjoyed this one i will try to do more videos with mommy more videos with my grandmother cooking just to show you know you guys different ways in which they go about it so as always guys thanks so much for watching i will see you all in my next video